So I can tell you that it was thoroughly satisfying making this negotiation guide on the Volvo XC90. And I really, really do hope that if you're watching this, thinking to yourself, I want to know what's a really, really good deal on the XC90. I'm about to tell you, and I really do want you to pay attention very closely to this negotiation guide, because it's not only going to tell you what's a good deal if you're planning on purchasing or leasing, it's going to give you a solid estimate as far as some average maintenance and repair costs, as well as the average insurance premium in the United States, so that you have the best overall picture of what the XC90 is going to cost you. What is happening guys, Ari here from Boston Automotive Consulting and in the description below, you're gonna find resources so that you can shop around for the very best XC90 deal. You'll be able to plug in your zip, select your dealership and start getting quotes from dealerships. You'll also be able to check out insurance rates, get your auto credit scores as well as shop for an auto loan. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing because this whole channel is gonna teach you everything you're gonna to need to know so that you can negotiate your best possible deal. So just really quickly, you guys, I do have a bunch of different variables that I'm gonna be using for tonight's negotiation guide. However, keep in mind, things do change from month to month. Things change from region to region. If you're curious as to where I'm getting all my information from because your dealer is telling you, your region has a little bit less or a little bit more lease cash, residuals, rates, etc. I've got my course in the description below that'll teach you how to scrape all this information. Diving right in into inventory, you guys. In the United States at the moment, what we're dealing with, we've got 3,765 gas model XC90s and 1,370 hybrids. They're now called the Recharge, they're the new plug-in hybrid from Volvo. Similarly, front wheel drive inventory is pretty low. If you're looking for one, you may not really find one. 330 front wheel drives, with the majority of inventory being all wheel drive with 4,805. Now, just strictly looking at all wheel drive inventory of the most popular ones that are in stock, we've got 1,180 T5 Momentums, 985 T6 inscriptions, 1,455 T6 momentums, 610 recharge, 710 recharge expressions. If you're curious, is this on a six passenger or a seven passenger? I did condense, so I'm very, very sorry. However, because we've got the most as T6 momentums, what I chose out of that 1,455 available T6 Momentums was a T6 Momentum seven passenger with an MSRP of 62,175. Now the markup on an XC90 is about 6% and that's what I want you to target. If you can get more than that's fantastic, but really targeting about between 5.75 and 6% on a Volvo is considered to be really, really good. And at the moment, targeting about 5.75 to 6%, I feel as though is a really, really good deal on a Volvo, but you gotta be careful because that's before any and all rebates that's available. Now, targeting that 6% off of MSRP would get you to 58,515. And at the moment, Volvo is offering a rebate in my region of $3,000. They also are offering a promotional APR of 0.99% at 60 months. However, your rebate does drop down to $1,000 should you choose to take the 0.9% APR. If you're paying in cash, obviously this won't make a difference to you, but if you're thinking to yourself, you know, I plan to put down 10, 15, whatever thousand dollars, it'll actually make more sense to take the rebate at a slightly higher interest rate as opposed to taking the 0.99% APR. So just assuming that you took the rebate and targeted 6% off of MSRP, that would land you to a final payment of $55,515. And that would also calculate back a payment of $995 per month. And that's also assuming that you're paying your taxes and fees up front. Now, if you're planning on leasing, still going after that 6% off of MSRP. In my region, we also do have the 3,000 
for lease cash coming from Volvo with a 59% residual at 36 months for 10,000 miles a year and a money factor, a little bit steep, at 0.00172. Now, plugging this all in into the lease calculator and assuming that you're giving just your inception fees, do it start, so your first payment, acquisition fee, dock fee, registration, all that stuff, do up front roughly about 24.85, we would be talking about 732 bucks a month. That's including sales tax, you guys. Again, that's at 6% off, getting a 6% off type of a deal on, say, a Mercedes GLE or a BMW X5 or an Audi Q7 right now. Well, really, I don't think it will. It really won't land you at 730 bucks. I really do think that the deals on the Volvo XC90 compared to its competitors, definitely the best value. And between inventory being out there, rebates being available, I just think that Volvo is really just trying to capture you away from its competitors. Now, as far as some maintenance and repair costs go, you guys, here's where Volvo stacks up very, very closely with its competitors. What we're talking about is an average cost of 850 for maintenance and 760 for repairs after your warranty period runs up. As far as average insurance costs in the United States, what we're dealing with is, is a $1,240 insurance premium yearly in Arizona, $1,700 in California, $1,870 in Florida, $1,115 in Illinois, $1,195 in Massachusetts, $2,600 in Michigan, $1,575 in New York, $860 in North Carolina, 1430 Pennsylvania, 1800 in Texas, 895 in Virginia. Definitely want to encourage you guys to use the links in the description below. You'll be able to plug in your zip, check off local dealerships and start getting price quotes from those dealers. You'll also be able to shop around for insurance rates, get your auto credit scores as well as shop for an auto loan. And if you found this information useful, please consider subscribing. Thank you so, so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.